Hello! My name is Crimson Flower. I'm one of the main authors for Polyphasic.net. I'm the server owner of the Polyphasic Discord channel and I'm a moderator on the Polyphasic subreddit r slash Polyphasic. What is Polyphasic sleep? Well, don't you find it interesting how humans sleep? If we look at how other animals sleep, we can examine the dog, who sleeps a little here and there, and the cat, who sleeps even more often. Horses are especially interesting, since they only take a few naps every day. But if we take a look at how other primates sleep, they mostly follow a polyphasic sleep pattern. Now what does polyphasic mean? Simply put, it means sleeping more than once a day. So if you sleep during the night and take a nap during the day, that's polyphasic sleep. But why are we even talking about polyphasic sleep? Well, the fact is that human sleep isn't naturally monophasic which just means sleeping in a single block during the night. People used to sleep in a polyphasic pattern before the Industrial Revolution. Some of them slept during the night and took a long nap during the day, which is called siesta. This sleep pattern is really prevalent in the countries near the equator even today. Others woke up in the middle of the night, spent a few hours doing miscellaneous activities and went back to bed. Some people even combined these sleep patterns with a nap during the day and a wake gap in the night. These sleep patterns are also seen in agricultural societies without artificial lighting today. Now why would you want to sleep polyphasically? Well, there are a ton of benefits to following a polyphasic sleep pattern. First of all, you can reduce the time you spend sleeping by utilizing some defense mechanisms that the body uses to fight sleep deprivation, light sleep, which is the sleep stage where we spend most time in, will be replaced by vital sleep stages instead. Light sleep doesn't have any vital functions, but that's a topic for another video. The bottom line is that switching over to a polyphasic sleep schedule allows this light sleep to be reduced, even naturally by some schedules. Other schedules take a more hard-on approach and basically rip it out. Anyways, there are also other benefits. If you like dreaming, and especially lucid dreaming, polyphasic sleep is a really natural way to improve your dream recall and lucidity. This is because polyphasic sleep, like several lucid dreaming techniques such as the wake back to bed method, utilize sleep interruptions to place REM sleep early in naps. And by the way, dreams during 20 minute naps are generally reported to feel like they last a very long time, usually several hours. So by splitting up the sleep in multiple segments, it allows for multiple occurrences of dream recall to happen, where the dreams themselves feel like they last for a very long time. Another benefit would be a faster sleep onset. If you are one of those people that take forever to fall asleep, polyphasic sleep can really help you out. By entering the adaptation state, your body is forced to start entering sleep faster, since if it doesn't do that, it won't get a sufficient amount of rest. We also have anecdotally reported improved cognitive performance, as in an improved memory, better focus, and so on, but that's being investigated on a more scientific level at this moment. Now there are other benefits too, but we'll talk about them in other videos. These points that are brought up will be expanded in future videos. I still want to point out that polyphasic sleep is not only fun and games. There are some negative aspects to it, but as long as you can overcome them, this interesting sleeping style can really help you in many ways. Firstly, polyphasic sleep schedules require you to be very strict your sleep times. In an experiment that will probably be talked about in the future, we figured out that shifts as short as 5 minutes cause disorientation and similar bad feelings. And the recommendation we go for is that the alarms for naps shouldn't move at all. This takes some time getting used to, since your sleeps need to be prioritized very highly. Secondly, adaptations are really hard. What this means is that you will be at a suboptimal mental level for between about 1 to 2 months. It should also be pointed out that you don't feel bad during the whole adaptation phase. You will feel the worst around week 3, so it's definitely survivable. Another issue is that stimulant consumption needs to be minimal to non-existent. Stimulants are really good at ruining good quality naps, and you clearly feel their effects at a much larger level than when you sleep monophasically. Next is the difficulty to sustain schedules. As long as you play your cards right, 
your schedule will be more flexible after adapting. But if you can't take your naps for a few too many days in a row, or your sleep quality is otherwise completely trashed for any reason, you risk becoming kicked out of the adaptation and might need to reattempt it all the way from the beginning with a recovery phase in between. Now this sounds bad, but as long as you get the necessary information and know what you're doing, you're going to be able to go about your daily life without many issues. Speaking of accurate information, there are certain places that I recommend you check out. Firstly, we've got the site polyphasic.net. This is the most up-to-date site with information about polyphasic sleep gathered from thousands of users. Next is the Discord channel and I'll put a link to it in the description. Most discussions take place here and it's the best place where you can get in contact with basically everyone who's knowledgeable about polyphasic sleep. The third place I want to direct you to is the polyphasic subreddit r slash polyphasic. While some older posts there might have inaccurate information, it's a good place to get answers to informational questions. Polyphasic sleep is really a life changer and I hope that I've been able to spark some of your curiosities on the subject. Stay tuned, we'll release a lot more videos in the future on various aspects of polyphasic sleep. Take care guys! Hey, thanks for making it this far. I want to take this time to shout out our coffee page. Donations go a long way with improving the knowledge of the community and helps us continue the upkeep of polyphasic.net. We plan on funding experiments and sleep trackers for members of the community in the future, and that in turn helps us make sure the scientific endeavors of polyphasic sleep are kept up. And if you like our content, we would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, if you'd like to chat with us, you can join our Discord. This is where most polyphasic sleep-related discussions take place. The link will be in the description. Thanks again and I'll see you later.